Okay guys, we're going to be unboxing, well, opening a GoPro head mount. You know, as you guys know on this channel, I've been doing a lot of videos with my GoPro. I've got the uh, three-way bendy mount thing that you can buy from GoPro. And I wanted to actually get the head strap because... You know, I wanted to, sometimes I'm filming and I don't need it to be, you know, on a tripod. I need it to be like in the air. So I decided to get this. I actually ordered this directly from GoPro themselves. They had it on sale for $19.99, free shipping. I don't think there was tax. No, there there was sales tax. I think sales tax was like a dollar, dollar fifty something, so... So I ordered it, and shipping was two-day guaranteed shipping. I ordered it on Monday. It is Wednesday, and I got it in two days from California. Not bad shipping from California. It's North Carolina. Uh, basically, just going to open this up. So with this packaging, there's not really a good way to open it, so I'm just going to cut the damn thing. Pop in half. Now you're supposed to be able to use this clip to hold the camera. Your camera is gonna slide in here, so you're gonna mount the camera facing forward, and it's supposed to clip in the back of a hat. Or let's just try the bill. <laughs> All right, see, so. There you've got a clip, supposed to clip on your hat. Now, you may be able to mount this to the front and have the camera point all the way down, but I think honestly, it's gonna be a funny angle because your hat is facing downward and this isn't very secure, so that could fall off pretty easily. Now, I don't have a, you know, a professional hat, uh, one of those fitted caps where I think this could plug into, or this could snap onto the back of. Yeah, that's, that's pretty weak. I, I don't know about that, but I didn't really buy the, this a set for the clip. I mean, this might be something good to use in the future, but I really bought it for this. I really bought it for the head headband black rubber bands interesting so just un so it comes with a screw unscrew it put in your GoPro wow I don't think they designed this for the GoPro one <laughs> well I do have the Wi-Fi backpack on here so this GoPro is actually bigger than this it's longer than it normally would be. Okay, so, wow. Yeah. So if you have that on your forehead, it's basically going to be pointing down with the old school GoPro. Now the new GoPro is, you know, a third of the, the depth of this. So it should sit more flat. I just want to put this on there as an example. And yeah, so that's uh, your GoPro mount, head mount. And you're gonna put this on your head. Okay guys, I wanted to do a piece of test footage with the uh, head cam, head strap cam f for the GoPro. You know, I ended up buying this for 20 bucks. I think normal price is 35 something like that because it was on sale. I'll have a link in the description below uh, on Amazon and how, where to get this. And uh, that way you guys can pick it up. Anyway, I just wanted to shoot some footage, you know, kind of like going through what I'd be working on. You know, here he's got the, you know, the E-Force on the LS3 top end of the Corvette. Uh, I've got my trickle charger on it. I think this head strap is pretty pretty good quality. It's it's not too heavy. 
I was expecting this to be a little bit more awkward being like a human camera, but it's actually not too bad. You know, when I want to be working on something, say I'm under the hood, you know, I want to be under here and say I'm working on the motor part, you know, you will get a first hand experience of a vision of what I'm doing working under here. So I think it'll give a good uh, impression of, of what I'm working on. Cause, you know, a lot of problems I've been having is actually with audio quality because I've been, you know, I've got a, the the GoPro grip, the the is like the the three piece bendy grip thing, and that thing it worked fine with my first GoPro, but the this Hero Five it has like four or five different microphones on it, so if I was holding it kind of loosely, and I moved my my hand just a little bit, you know, if I was holding it, you know, if I didn't have a firm grip on it, if I was just holding it kind of loosely, you would pick up all kinds of audio noise coming from the grip itself, going up through the plastic handle into the case and into the camera. So I know some of my upcoming videos and some of my past videos have got that, like a, an audio, it's like just a, you know, a noise in it. And so, you know, I, I actually got in contact with GoPro about that issue and actually it was just me. It wasn't, I thought it was something wrong with the camera, but it was all just me. So, uh, I just learned to hold that handle harder, you know, with a more firm grip and the audio noise dis disappeared a lot. But, you know, there's stuff where I want to do and show you guys like kind of firsthand of, you know, trying to work on something. And when you got a car part in hand and a tool in the hand, you know, and you try and you try to film it, you know, you, you either need to get a tripod or, you know, or you're kind of like haphazardly trying to do three things at once when you only have two hands. So I thought this uh, GoPro head mount would work real well. So uh, upcoming projects on the Corvette, really not much. I'm going to clean up uh, this bracket because this uh, Elite Catch Cans E2, uh, this bracket's in the way. I want to cut that down and trim it. I got some projects for the SS coming up. There will be a lot of stuff coming up on that. And my next series will be actually working on the truck. I've got a grill assembly and front end upgrade that I've just finished up. And that'll be coming up over the next couple of weeks. But really that's about it. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy going on in here. And I apologize for this place being a mess. You know, it, it's just the way it is with a shop. You know, sometimes you clean stuff up, sometimes you don't. Uh, really? Oh, wall decorations. Those will be new for this video. Maybe you saw them in my previous video going to the car show. But I finally got off my ass and got all of my uh, metal signs that I've had. I've had these for a long time. And they were up in my old shop, but I just, you know, I haven't really had the time to get them put up. I've got some license plates to put on this wall. These are just my metal signs I've been collecting over the years. And so that's that. This is my wall of flags. Got the Nürburgring, the Tudor Series, which no longer exists, Corvette Racing, HSV, and Holden Racing Team. Those are my Holden flags that I special... I basically had to contact a guy in Australia. He bought them for me, then he shipped them back to the United States for me. And here's my wall of posters. You know, I'm, I don't know. I threw a bunch of them out. A lot of them didn't really apply anymore. And I just didn't want to tatter up all the walls with posters. So, but the flags, I'm kind of proud of those because those aren't everyday items that you're going to see. So, but the flags, the metal signs, that's really about it. So, so like I said earlier, there's a link down below with all my camera set up. You can pick it up on Amazon. And, you know, for my initial test footage of this headgear, I think it's going to work pretty well. So thanks for watching and have a good day.